Hey guys, in this video we're going to learn how we can create groups um, from our data. The idea here is that sometimes uh, we have data and we'd like to maybe uh, do some calculations or view some statistics on certain groups uh, inside that data and this is where the group by function in pandas can come into our help. Um, let's um, import pandas the usual way and create our usual data frame let's display what it looks like we've seen this before so we have the city rank score one score two columns and uh, we've basically labeled the columns on the index so the index are these letters we've given it a name letter and we've given the, 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 the columns and name attributes okay so this is what our data frame looks like and if you see here we notice the Tripoli uh, city is repeated or Rome and Sydney and what if we'd like to view the data that is about Tripoli only and maybe we wanted to do some statistics on the data that's you know related to Sydney or something like that this is where group by comes in to help and it's very straightforward in pandas actually um, here we have a little example we can create a grouping object this object will represent the particular grouping that we want uh, like I said before and here we can uh, start by just grouping by city so we have the city here and we'd like for example to group by city and you notice when you run that the data frame df dot group by so the df is our data frame you notice that it returns a data data frame group by object and to view the contents we can convert that into a list so say a list df dot group by and we notice that here we've got Rome and then we have the attributes uh, city rank score one score two so Rome 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 second first first and then the values the result the values for score one and score two likewise for Sydney and for Tripoli so that's how to convert the uh, group by object into a list and we can actually also convert it into a dictionary if we'd like okay so we can convert also into a dictionary and we should be able to access the dictionary uh, by using the key. So for Rome only, give me the you know the, the data that's regarding Rome, or maybe Sydney and so on and so forth. Right. So that's how to create a group by object for the data frame. We can also create a group by object or do grouping based or using the column. So instead of using df, I can say df of city, of course see the results here and I can say dot group by and now I'd like to say group by df of maybe something like um, the rank again we have a series now which we can transform into a list if we'd like to and there you go we have the results so basically what we're saying here is uh, get the city and then using the city base the grouping on rank you notice here we, we get the first so the rank first we've got Tripoli Tripoli Rome Rome Sydney and then for rank second we've got Sydney Rome Tripoli Sydney and maybe to make it clearer we can transform it into a dictionary to make things much clearer so group by first you know use the city and group by I'm sorry use the city and group by rank and then we got uh, first and then we got values triple triple Rome Rob Sydney and likewise for second so if I say give me the cities that have rank first I can get triple triple Rome Rome and Sydney I hope the idea makes sense we can have a second look at the at our data frame for things to become clearer um, Another interesting thing here is that uh, sometimes you know we'd like to group by more than uh, more than one thing, so more than let's say one uh, column, like like we did here. For example, we said group by city. Let's go back to the same example. So we've grouped by city, and we notice here for the cities, for example, we have also the ranks, which is repeated for some cities. So Tripoli first here, Tripoli first here. Um, um, Sydney second here and Sydney second here. What that means is 
if we'd like to group by city and by a rank at the same time we should be able to do that so here we, we say data frame group by and then we pass the function group by the method group by we pass it now a list of keys or a list of columns that we'd like to group by so group by city first and then group by rank and then we get the results so we've got Rome first and then we've got these results Rome second because we are now grouping by city and rank Rome second we've got these results Sydney first Sydney second and Tripoli first and Tripoli second you notice now now these are actually um, tuples okay so the values here are tuples I'm sorry the keys in the dictionary are tuples but the idea I hope the idea makes sense that we can group by more than one column if we'd like to so that's how to use group by uh, in a brief overview um, what we'll do next is see and by the way you can do shift tab and see um, the documentation on, on group by if you'd like to find out more oh I'm sorry this is actually giving me the one for list anyway uh, we'll let's ignore this and uh, if we can't find the documentation here then one thing we can do is we can say pandas uh, group by of course and then we can go to the documentation which is quite extensive right you can read the group series using mapper things like that and maybe we can also find some examples okay so let's stop here in the next video we're gonna uh, see how to perform some operations on the results of group by so I'm going to stop here and see you in the next video.